Hello and welcome to Leap Taken. This is Mika. Here at Leap Taken, I talk about all things witchy, craft related, law of attraction, manifesting, esoteric, and everything else in between. And today I want to talk about starting over, starting over in your witchcraft. But I'm going to be sipping on this in the interim <laughs> during the time. Okay, so I thought, let me get comfortable. You know, I got on my cozy little sweatshirt. It's a little chilly today uh, here in the desert. And um, I just kind of wanted to have this conversation a little bit about when you feel like your practice might need a reboot. But let's talk about the reasons why you feel like that, right? So sometimes it gets stale. Sometimes it's boring. <laughs> uh, sometimes uh, the spells aren't working or you're so fearful and you're, you know, dealing with the fear of it all. Sometimes it's overwhelming, you know, just everything is overwhelming. So I sort of broke down these things because I noticed these are the things that can kind of get people, kind of, kind of mess you up. So let's talk about the staleness and the boring part. So remember what attracted you to witchcraft to begin with? Why are you, what, what even brought you in? What, what attracted you? Why did you start doing this? Um, that, start there. You know, was it something you read? Was it a movie? Was it a video you watched? Was it a book you read? Was it, you know, a reading that you got? You know, <laughs> what was it? Build off of that energy. Build off of that. Take yourself back to that place. And if best as you can, kind of recreate that. That one can be hard, especially if it was like one of those coincidental things uh, that sort of sparked it. But remember the feeling, the energy, and what that motivation to keep learning more, tap into that as best as you can. Otherwise, try a different path. Try something totally different. Um, if you've been mostly hoodoo, look in a Wicca. You know, Wicca gets a bad name. But there's a level of structure around it that I think could be helpful. And I think it could be a thing on its own. You don't have to abandon it. But if, again, for a lot of people, it's a great jumping off point. You might want that. More about that structure later. Try a different path. Um, go shopping. Yes. Retail therapy. Yes. Um, look for crystals, tarot cards, et cetera, journals, you know, what have you. Look for the look for the stuff. You might need an infusion of the stuff. Nobody wants to talk about that, but that can be really inspiring and helpful in learning something. Something can stand out to you and it can start an entire new path, a new understanding, uh, more knowledge. So do that. And finally, join groups. Join a group. <laughs> Sometimes we really just need to join a group. We need to be around other people. Um, it can motivate us, inspire us, keep us going. You may just need another group or a group. And if you're in a group, maybe that's the wrong group. Get a different group. <laughs> Get a group where it's resonating with you. You know what I mean? Um, if your spells are not working. So watch my entire series on how to be a witch. How to be a witch series watch that. It could be super helpful in dealing with that. Um, break down the anatomy of a spell. Uh, I'll be doing a video. I did one before, but I think, I, I, I don't think, I know I'm going to be doing um, kind of like um, a bracket sort of thing. It's not really a series, like uh, traditional, uh, creating traditions in your spiritual system and then the anatomy me of a spell. I think those things, those are like basic bare bones things, but I want to do a refresher on those. So stay tuned for those videos. Um, they're coming very soon. Um, but break down the anatomy of a spell. The first thing I will just tell you now is raise energy. That's the first part. Learn how to raise energy, chanting, singing, dancing. You know, sometimes when you see like on Instagram, you see a lot of the witches, they talk, you know, they'll be dancing or something like that. They'll be twerking. They'll be doing all this stuff. They're raising energy for that spell work. Get into it. You don't have to twerk, but if you want to twerk. But um, yeah, whatever that is for you. Clapping. Some people is just simply clapping hands, but you need to raise some energy. Uh, that's a big deal on spell work, by the way. Don't overlook that stuff. It's kind of important. We're, we're manipulating energies here, so we need a base. All right. Um, practice makes perfect. Keep trying. So what? You didn't get it right. Keep Girl, just boy, <laughs> just keep going. Keep trying. Don't worry about it. Um, 
<laughs> no, really, don't worry about it. Just keep trying. Uh, if you do the first things, yes, my videos, and um, understanding how the spell work, I think it eventually you'll get it. Um, what are you, and then, I mean, there's more to it than that. And, and when I do the video about breaking down an anatomy of a spell, I kind of get into the why it might not be working a little bit more, but there's a host of reasons. Um, it could be you. Uh, it could be what you're you're doing. It could be um, previous work that you've done that you don't realize that you're confl con conflicting with. So, you know, that's the whole thing as well. Um, the other thing is fearfulness. So that was my story for a long time in my craft. I was very fearful. Um, so for that shadow work, I know people say that, but like, it's going to be really helpful in understanding what, where this fear is coming from. Because if you can identify the root of it, then you can address it and you can honestly move on. You may not ever really fully set aside those fears. You have to, that's part of the shadow work too. Coming to terms with that and being okay with that and sort of just picking up and moving on from there. But you know, that, that takes a lot of work, um, internal work. Only you can do shadow work. I can't, do it for you no one else you know you can't pay somebody to do something you know the most they could do is ask you some targeted questions to make you think more um but yeah that's it uh that's pretty much it i think i want to do more about shadow work um a series i'm still because that's a really intense process i did my own so you know i'll i'll well you guys will know i'll let you know if i uh do that and what that'll look like but um it's an intense problem. I'm not sure if I want a series or actually like do like a workshop thing for it. So I'll see. But um, taking it slow, patience, pacing yourself with fear. You know, in the beginning, I had to do that. It's okay to take breaks in witchcraft. Um, eventually, you will have a come to witchcraft moment. <laughs> and only you can make this decision of when that's going to be and what that's, how that's going to play out. But it will eventually happen where you're kind of just going to have to face your fears, um, especially if you are still progressing in your witchcraft in spite of the fear. So it's something you're going to just have to address. It's, um, I don't want to say all of us witches because we all don't come from the same background where we maybe had to get through Christianity or environmental fears and all that sort of stuff. I know I did. Um, but a lot of us probably have. So, um, seek community if possible to help you through that process. That's going to be helpful. But again, it is your journey and how long it takes for you to get through it is on you. It took me a long time. I'm not going to lie, but I didn't do it with community and I sort of fumbled my way through, but I just kept going. I didn't let it deter me, the fear. I knew it was there. I hated it, by the way. I didn't like that about myself and I hated that those thoughts would come into my head. Um, when I was in the middle of doing a ritual or trying to cast, I remember casting circles and being so scared. Um, I really didn't enjoy that part, but I just kept going. Another thing that you can do uh, is address it with the physical. So when those thoughts pop into your head when you're doing a ritual spell, those thoughts, and if, if you wrestle with fear, you know what thoughts I'm talking about, where you're thinking something evil, you're doing something evil, like what if this doesn't work? What if, what that weird, what if thing, you know, you could take something like this, a rubber band and pop yourself, um, clap your hands, learn an active phrase that like does something, you know, you create the phrase like reset, you know, just screaming out hell in the middle of the ritual as well. Reset, reset, whatever the thing is, or um, use the term. I rebuke that thought. I rebuke that thought. I used to say that. I used to say I rebuke it. I rebuke that thought because um, I didn't want it to mess up what I was doing. But get into the habit of doing something like that. It, it is it's effective. Trust me. I, it was I don't do it anymore because I don't really wrestle with that anymore. But think about that. Uh, something physical to address those mental issues. Um, and then uh, overwhelming. Oh, my God. There was a time I remember everything just feeling so overwhelming. Like I was learning so much. I didn't know which avenue to take, which thing to look more into. It just felt like a lot. Um, again, be patient. Go slow. Do not buy all the things. That confuses you even more. Self-discipline. One or two things. Maybe one for a while. 
one thing to focus on under the umbrella of witchcraft. Master, move on. If it's crystals, if it's tarot, if it's ancestor reverence, setting up an altar and doing that, just listening to their messaging and being in tune, then do that. Don't do nothing else. Master that, then move on. Pull it. If you bought all the things, put it aside. Pull one thing out. Focus on that tool and how you'll use it. Master, then move on. I struggle with that because I do want to do all. It's like I want all the projects happening all at once. I want to use this tool. I want to buy this. I need that deck. I need this. Sometimes this is advice you have to tell yourself, even if you've been practicing for a while. Slow down, witch. Focus on this one thing for now and then master and then move on. Okay. And finally, just in closing, sometimes what we really need is just structure. We really just need to have a structure. We really, in my opinion, <laughs> from my practice, I really just need a structure. So if you are looking for structure, I have a wonderful series. It's a workshop, actually, a cottage witchery workshop. I'll leave the link in the description. It's self-paced. Um, you can participate. You can send me private messages. You don't have to make everybody, you know, make it known. You can answer the questions that I ask in your journal. So get a journal uh, or, you know, whatever you want to write things down. And I'm basically just taking you through the steps that I went through to build a workshop, to build my practice my spirituality, the whole thing. So I took all that eclectic witchcraft stuff for me and I created a bit of a foundation for it so that I always have a jumping off point. I can learn all the things. I can buy more of the things, you know, the witchcraft things. I can dabble, dibble, this, this, that, but I can come, but it, I have roots. Um, all this stuff that I'm doing, all this witchcraft, all the candles burning and the incense and the oils, they're all rooted in something. They're rooted in my cottage witchery. So that works for me. And in times of need, um, sickness, um, stress, all that sort of stuff, I have a foundation. I have something to come back to. Um, I have something that's solid. So um, that's helpful. So I don't really have to worry about getting bored or my spells not working, to be honest with you. Um, fear, no. And uh, definitely not feeling overwhelmed because I have a sense of foundation. So that might be what you need. So check out the link if you're interested. Um, but in the meantime, let me know in the comments um, if you have any other tips as well. If you want to share, if you've been to it in any of the thing, four categories that I mentioned, um, what you've done to overcome maybe something I didn't mention. Or if you have um, something else that I didn't mention <laughs> And you're kind of battling with, but you want to keep going, but it's kind of deterring you as a bit of an obstacle right now in your crap. Let me know. All right. So thanks again for watching. I am Mika. This is Leap Taken. Please like, subscribe, share. And uh, if you've already subscribed, thank you very much. And as always, thanks again for watching. Bye.